Hey, it's Chris. So I want to give you some bad news. And unfortunately, this is probably going to tick some of you off, but it just needs to be said. Your parents were wrong about credit cards. And because of that, you're probably failing at life right now. Because contrary to popular belief, no, credit cards are not the devil. No, your credit score is not some made up number designed to make you pay more for items. And no, I don't look like Shrek unless I forget to brush my teeth in the morning. And no, I don't look like Cuba Gooding Jr.'s younger plus size brother. Okay, that one kind of hurt. But one thing that I have learned about credit is that once you start taking it seriously, that's when it's going to start getting better. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you five new credit cards that you can get approved for instantly to help build your credit. So if your credit is really low, like in the 400s or the 500s, you will likely need to start off with some type of secured card. And the one that I recommend is the Discover It Secured Card. What I personally like about the Discover It Secured Card is that after a few months, they will automatically work with you to transition to a card that doesn't have a security deposit, which looks way better on your credit score. Now your credit score essentially is just a number proving how responsible you are with money that doesn't belong to you. And Discover will report to all three credit bureaus, making it much easier for you to start building up your credit. Now, one thing that most secure cards do not have is rewards and benefits, but the Discover card, it actually has some, including 2% cash back on gas and restaurants, 1% cash back on every other purchase, which means that you get free money just for using the card as long as you pay it back every month. So to be honest, a secured card that pays you to use it is really kind of unheard of and a great perk of any credit card, whether it's secured or not. Now, an honorable mention, if you cannot get the Discover It Secured card would be the Capital One Secured MasterCard. Now, Capital One basically accepts anyone with bad credit, so you should have no issues getting approved here. Now, the only downside is that this card doesn't have any bonuses like the 2% cash back on purchases. It is strictly a card just to build up your credit, and you shouldn't really keep it any longer than about six to 12 months. Now, card number two to help build up your credit is a card that I personally had when I was building up my credit, and that's the Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards credit card. Now this card is designed for someone with a credit score probably in the upper 500s to lower 600s and you only have a few things on your credit report like maybe a car loan, maybe student loans, or maybe even a mortgage. Now this card does come with an annual fee of $39 but there is no hidden fees or anything like that afterwards. But before you completely write off the card just because it happens to have a $39 annual fee, this card does earn you 1.5% cash back on all purchases that you make with the card, which is freaking awesome, okay? And I remember spending at least of 220 or so dollars each month so that you will be able to recoup that $39 in a year span. And if you end up spending more than that, then you actually get that money paid back to you. So even though I usually shy away from annual fees for beginner cards, this one isn't that bad because it forces you to use the card, which thus helps build your credit worthiness and gets you in the habit of paying off the card every single month and never leaving a balance on it if you can help it. So if you leave a balance on it, you will be stuck with like a crazy 26.99% annual percentage rate, which is a lot. So be responsible and just pay it off. Don't use the card for anything that you don't already happen to have the cash for. You are using the card as a pass through for the most part. So card number three, the Apple card. So the Apple card will require a credit score of at least 600 or more. And in a lot of instances, people were getting approved for the card when they had scores as low as the mid 500s. So because this is an unsecured card, meaning you don't have to put down a deposit or anything for it, this will be the card that you will use to help prove your credit worthiness as a credit risk. But some of the issues that you deal with on a traditional card, you don't really have to worry about with the Apple card, which is a very safe card and which is why I like it so much. So there's no fees at all with this card. So even if you had a late payment, you know, they're not gonna charge you a fee or anything. But just because they don't charge you a fee doesn't mean that they won't report you. So you still gotta make sure that you pay those cards off each month. But one of the greatest perks about Apple's card that I enjoy is the fact that they make it very, very easy for you to see the type of interest that you would be charged if you happen to keep a balance on the card from month to month. When people like me go around getting credit cards and never paying interest on it, those credit card companies, they don't like people like 
us. So become a people like us so that you can start getting free stuff on your cards as well. But in order to do that, you need to build up your credit to be able to start getting a lot of those elite type cards. Now the Apple card does have some pretty significant perks like a 3% cash back when you buy stuff at Apple or Nike or Uber, uh, Walgreens, and even T-Mobile. And in 2% anytime that you use Apple Pay. And for the most part, everyone ex is accepting Apple Pay nowadays. But then you also get 1% cash back on everything else that you would normally buy with the credit card. So your everyday purchases, you can just swipe and get 1% cash back on that money, which is a pretty unique perk. Okay, and let's not forget about the best part about this car, and that is the Flex, because it is made with actual titanium with laser beams. Okay, so actually it doesn't have laser beams, but it was actually etched with laser beams. And that's really freaking cool. Now, once you get this card and you actually use it, there is something strangely satisfying when you hand this card to someone and then they realize just how heavy and how solid the credit card happens to be compared to like a traditional card. And it's almost guaranteed to get a reaction every time, which really just makes it really cool just to have this particular card. The fourth card on our list is the Amazon Prime Rewards Visa Signature Card. So to get this card, the credit score will need to be at least in the 600s, but just for joining, they will give you anywhere from 50 to $100 gift card to use on Amazon, depending on the time of year that you apply for it. But the card has some really sweet perks that comes with it just for owning the card. And one of those is being able to get 5% cash back on all of your Amazon purchases. So I order a lot of stuff on Amazon. So it was a no brainer for me. If you never buy anything on Amazon, then you might wanna skip this card. It's probably not going to be uh, that much advantageous for you because the real benefit to it is being able to use it to get that 5% cash back. So after we spend so much money on the card, then that 5% really starts to build up after every purchase and then and after a while, I check my balance and I have like an extra hundred bucks that I can use on whatever I want on Amazon, which is actually one of the coolest parts about having that card. Now there is a catch with this card and even though it's technically doesn't have an annual fee, to fully benefit from the card, you will need to have an Amazon Prime membership, which will set you back about $12 per month or $120 a year. So you would need to spend around $2,300 or so dollars just on the card to make up the costs. And that's purchases that's just on Amazon, the one that you're getting the 5% back on. But you do get free Amazon Prime shipping, Amazon Prime video, and also 2% back on restaurants and gas stations and drugstores, and then 1% back on everything else. So even if you don't have a Prime membership, you can still use the card as a way to build up your credit. And most importantly, build a relationship with one of the titans in the credit card industry, Chase. Chase is one of the most feature rich credit cards that you can get really on the planet. But to get any of them, Chase really wants you to jump through a lot of hoops, okay? Chase wants to make sure that you have one of their cards and that you have proven that you can use it responsibly. So this is a great card to start with your relationship with Chase as eventually you will be able to use it to get more free stuff on the higher tier Chase credit cards. So card number five on our list is the Chase Freedom Card. To get this card, you need to have a credit score of at least somewhere in the mid to upper 600s, but it is a beast of a car when it comes to cash back. So for example, if you spend $500 in the first three months of having the credit card, then you're gonna get a credit on your statement of $200. Think about that. That is a free $200 just for using the card. And what I did for myself was just putting my cell phone bill and groceries on the card just for a couple of months. And I was able to make $500 onto that card pretty quickly putting things on there that I was going to actually purchase anyway. So on top of that, you also get 5% cash back on eligible purchases that rotate throughout the year, including places like gas stations, groceries, restaurants, and so on. Now, I will be honest, this part of owning the card, it's a little bit of a chore, as I find myself having to log in every quarter just to see what the new bonus category is. But, and there's always a but, but even though that happens to be a hassle, I have found that it's really helpful for me because it helps keep me on my toes so that when I go on and I'm looking at the credit card, it's helping me see 
my usage. It's helping me see what my balance is and helping me to see that, you know what, I need to pay this off as quickly as I possibly can. At one point, I find myself logging into my Chase credit card portal online at least once every couple of days. And this helped me to see my balance every day. It helped remind me that a payment was due. Now, another bonus of using the Chase Freedom Card is that it has a 0% APR on purchases in the first 15 months of owning the card. So think about that. That 0% interest is like having free money. I remember buying some lighting and video equipment and it ended up costing me about 1500 or so dollars. But since I had 15 months at 0% interest, I just paid like $100 a month and I basically had it paid off before the promotional period had ended. That way I could take that $1,500 and just invest it elsewhere that's probably gonna make me more money faster. So when it comes to that, always remember that personal finance is just about being responsible and placing your money in the best place possible for it to maximize and stretch. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have made it this far into this video and you have not already, please be sure to smash the like button as well as subscribe. We post new videos weekly and be sure to tick the bell notification icon as well because YouTube be tripping about telling people about my new videos. Also, if you want two free stocks value anywhere from $12 to over $1,400, go make your first deposit into a Webull account. I'll be sure to put a link down in the description. You will only get those two free stocks if you use my link and check it out ASAP. As always, if you have any other questions for me, please let me know down in the comments. I try my best to respond to each and every one of them. And if you want to talk more about the credit card stuff, be sure to go check out the playlist right here where I break down the benefits of owning your credit rather than having your credit own you.